and welcome to the third Simple Blitz Plus tutorial by Orange Moon Network. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to make a simple rock paper scissors program in Blitz. So we're going to I'm going to show you how to do this now. Um, first of all the computer which I call PC choice will choose um, here whether he's going to do rock paper scissors and we'll do this by just giving him a number from one to three and this will correlate to rock paper or scissors and remember variables are in white commands are in yellow and numbers or text is in blue and then we're gonna have another variable which will just be um, the number they've chosen but as a word and this will be a string and strings are any variable which can contain any letters rather than just numbers so you need a dollar sign after it so it's going to be a big repeat our program we'll repeat it forever until it says in the program to exit because um, so it'll keep on going on forever and now we're going to choose the input so we'll say choice equals input rock and we'll let the user put in numbers because it just makes it a lot easier rather than having to type the words out so this will be displayed on the screen so you can quit like so oh there we go now that's your choice and now we're going to put this as a, in a, in another loop because what might happen is if they don't put in the right choice then the rest of the program won't work so we'll say if the choice is bigger than 4 or the choice is less than 1 then we're going to print that the input is invalid and else which means any if any if um this line is not correct then so if choice is any of the other things then exit so we'll get out of this loop this second loop which is just so that if i run this say you put in random things it'll say it's invalid or if you put a number too high it'll say it's invalid now that's working now we're going to calculate what the computer's uh, text is so it will say the computer chose scissors rather than the computer chose three so we're going to use the command select now this is used in later in the um, the beginner tutorials, not the simple beginner tutorials, so it doesn't matter if you don't get it now because you'll probably pick it up later on. So we're choosing this PC choice case means if it's one, then PC word equals rock. And now I'm just going to do this for paper and scissors. Okay, and now we're just going to have an N select just to end it off otherwise the program won't run unlike end if it's two separate words and you can tell if it didn't work if you did them as two words because then it'd be um, in white so it would think it's a variable but it's not, it's a command we're doing right and now we're going to calculate whether you've won or not so the simple one is if pc choice is equal to your choice then print computer also chose plus and then PC word so it will say whatever of these it is and leave a space here otherwise it will join the two words together and have another space try again and now the other ways of calculating it are as follows if if um, you have scissors and they have paper you've won so if theirs is one less than you you've won similarly with paper and rock whereas if theirs is one higher than you you lose 
and if you're scissors and they are rock then you've lost so if theirs is two less than you you lose but if you're rock and their scissors you win so if you're two more than them then you win so I'll do the first if statement if choice minus one equals PC choice then so if your one minus one is the same as their one so say you've got scissors and paper and they've got paper or you've got paper and they've got rock then print computer chose and we'll do the same thing PC word you one and now I'll just do more of these lines just using the same principle that I've just told you. Right, so now I have got all these lines. Just I'll just pause this video and just copy all them down. Um, so those are just using uh, the principles I told you before. And now seeing as the loop starting again, we're going to give PC choice uh, another random number. One to three, and then we um, are going to make it so if you have quit the game, it exits this loop. And simply, as we did here, exit closes this loop. So we'll put on here if choice equals four, then exit. And seeing as we've got randoms, we want to make it fully random and I've explained this all on a separate video called uh, Seed Rand Explained so you should check that out if you want to understand how the Seed Rand works we'll just put it at the start, start C R and D is command and then we'll uh, do millisex so uh, milliseconds is that what that means you don't need to understand what it means it just makes it totally random <laughs> so and now at the end you just type end otherwise it comes up with a uh, window saying your program has closed at the end so let's just test the this out okay so let's say I choose rock the computer chose paper you lost well, that's right scissors uh, computer you won there we go and let's just try six oh it's in input invalid or try random things so our oh, invalid inputs working now if you type in four to quit there you go it closes simply just at the end we'll just put print like that just to have an empty line at, at the end of each time you run it so um, each time you run it it just sort of piles it into certain sections okay so thank you for watching this tutorial this is the last simple tutorial so now you should be ready to go on uh, to the beginner tutorials uh, with no problems these are for those of you who have done no coding before it doesn't matter if you don't understand all of this um, you'll learn and start understanding all of this hopefully when you start doing the um, beginner tutorials and then you'll go on to doing graphics okay thank you for watching this video and I hope it worked for you if it didn't just make sure you got no spelling mistakes in at all the words it should be commands are in yellow and all variables are white all text is blue and all numbers are blue. Okay, thank you.